Welcome lads. We are here today with a uh, Cuban cigar review. We have the very popular Trinidad Vigia released in 2014 that we haven't tried yet. Yeah, this is one of the big ones that we haven't tried. We get a lot of requests on this one, like people asking us what we think. It's a very famous Trinidad. It's supposed to be fantastic. I think mainly because of the price for the size, because mm -hmm. it's about you know 15 US dollars here in Sweden or a little bit above yeah, that exactly. even. Um, and the fact that it's a it's a vitola that we're not huge fans of. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 111 millimeters or four and one third inches long by 54 ring gauge, which is very thick for a yeah. Cuban cigar. Short and thick. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is one of those vitolas that I'm generally not a huge fan of, but this is just supposed to be a stellar cigar. We love Trinidad, never had a bad one. Uh, so you know we should be in for a good ride. Yeah, absolutely. So let's get these cut up, and we'll be back to you guys in the first third. Uh, there'll be quick thirds here, uh, but. Hopefully this is as good as uh, as promised. Mm. First third, flavorful, medium bodied, and we just put up a story on our Instagram live while smoking this crazy blast of Cuban twang. Yeah, seriously, we've uh, we've had a bunch of non-Cubans recently, and uh, pretty much yeah, the last four or five cigars, something like yeah. that, and and just now lighting up this Cuban, this Trinidad, it's uh, such. Uh, blast of that cuban twang the the saltiness oh, that nice. yeah i feel like that's what trinidad has the most when we yeah. had the reyes the cuban twang is there but there's like it's an excess of saltiness it's really nice it's like the savory salted cracker style exactly mm, it's really delicious then there's the herbal tones there's a lot of grass and hay in this one i feel like this just tastes so insanely cuban i don't know how much of the perspective is but even even i've had other cubans that don't have that similarity this is just enormously Cuban. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. The Trinidad Reyes was one of the first cigars where we really felt that like saltiness mm -hmm. from uh, back in those days. And um, yeah, you can really sense that here in the, in the mm -hmm. Trinidad's. It's kind of like, yeah, their profile, I guess. Yeah, it is very savory and there's no sweetness in this at all, really. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's savory, it's salty, it's herbal, it's grassy, it's it's um, it's very nice, it's very, very Cuban, it's a good change of pace. Yeah, we were also comparing the uh, mm. the color of our wrappers. Yeah, this is like a standard Colorado Claro, where mm -hmm. you have like a lighter Cuban, uh, it's not quite Connecticut, it's in between like a standard Habano and a Connecticut, and then you have like this Colorado, Colorado Rosado, I don't know if you can see it, but that means like okay. reddish in, in Spanish, it's like a, it has yeah. a reddish hue. Um, yeah, they're very different in the wrappers. It's very. I think these are from the from the same box even, because uh, they came in the same like uh, in the same shipment. So uh, very Cuban with the uh, quality control there. But the but the burns are doing well, I think. Uh, yeah. And I was uh, a little bit skeptical of these before, but they're fine, right? Absolutely. I had a little mis <laughs> mis build here in the beginning of mm -hmm. the wrapper, but it's but it's burning perfectly now. Yeah. Wrappers keeping up. We haven't even dried boxed these or anything like that, uh, but they're doing well. Uh, really loving the flavor so far. These are good. We're in the middle of the day here. Yeah, they're, they're doing fine for that. Uh, so we'll see you guys in the next uh, next third in the yep. halfway through here. Back shortly, probably. <laughs> probably pretty shortly. Yeah. See you guys soon. Okay, guys. So we smoked it down now. Yours has been smoking a little faster than mine. It's had a little slow burn, mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, overall, um, quite enjoyed this cigar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it was nice to have a Cuban again. And um, yeah, what we got from it, or basically my thoughts were the just the instant Cuban twang, of course, the saltiness, which then uh, faded a little bit. Um, just licking the lips halfway through, there was some sweetness there. And um, overall, yeah, just some, some wood flavors mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, not crazy complex. No. But it's very pleasant. I mean, um, yeah, I got some earth, some wood, and a touch of leather here in the in the end. Um, it's gotten a lot darker. Uh, medium plus now. It was like solid medium, first half, second half now. It's definitely uh, medium plus. We're almost like an hour in, which is kind of a good smoke time for a cigar this size. Mm -hmm. Mine is more standard. I think, I don't know what's up with your burn, but it's so slow. Yeah, not a bad really thing is. at no, all, exactly. but it's just very slow. Is it still tasting nice and, yeah. Yeah, so very, very solid there. Uh, pretty decent value out of that. I mean, if you get like a 40 minute burn out of these, they're kind of expensive, but Trinidad is, I mean, I've talked about this before. It's like Cohiba's little brother. 
like the, the quality is just below that of Cohiba. So, you know, you're paying a little bit extra premium for like one of the best uh, regular production Cuban cigar brands out there. Um, but this is a crazy, I mean, this one didn't blow me away. It's not like, I don't know if we got like just, I mean, Cuban cigars are always back and forth. You never really know what you're gonna get. Yeah. But uh, it didn't like blow me away. It's not like I feel like this is one of the best Cuban cigars I've ever had, but it was nice. Yeah. Right? Do you want to put a rating on it? Uh, yeah. Do you have one in mind? Uh, Let me give I was, me a, a yeah, couple of seconds to stall here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was just thinking about it before, and uh, I think I put it at like uh, I'm gonna say 88. Wow. Yeah. I was just thinking oh, the really? same yeah. on the head. Yeah. 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 88 is good for this. It's it's a little bit below excellent. Um, what we've been smoking this week, like the Davidoff Year of the Ox, and that, that will have been uploaded before this. Yeah, got a. We gave it a 90. Mm -hmm. That was like a, a just a touch above. And this is like a little bit simpler. It's just not. It, it's the same level of complexity, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just not as clean in terms of the flavor. Yeah, exactly. These are young though. I do like the the saltiness in in the mm -hmm. cigars that mm -hmm. they make. Though it's uh, yeah. It's a nice flavor profile, mm -hmm. uh, but like we said, these are not. I mean, that that, uh, that Davidoff had extremely aged tobaccos in it. This is a little bit rougher, a little bit younger. You can tell it's a younger. I mean, li like I talked about with with um, like how clean the flavors are. A lot of the flavor here is Cuban tobacco, and then underneath we're picking out notes. But it's like, it's just a nice Cuban tobacco flavor that's. Mm -hmm. That, that takes the main stage and then it's other stuff kind of underneath and that brings it down a little bit in, in terms of complexity five years on these or whatever like the ones that were originally released these are probably even a lot better but nice nice hour yeah, spent for sure absolutely yeah i think that wraps it up not pretty a lot much to say. No, exactly that's uh that's pretty much what we have to say about the cigar that's what we had for you guys today and uh we'll see you guys next one cheers <laughs>